Welcome back, Stasa23 here, back again with some knife therapy, and uh, today I got my buddies with me, Copper Dice and... And Brian. And Brian, yeah, and, and Brian. And uh, we got uh, five different Riot knives, and they're all different. You got these two are the Steelcraft series by Todd Bag Knives. And they're just a regular production. You're shaking the camera. Thank you, Copper Dice. And then you, have, <laughs> then you have, this is a mid-tech, low production, what, 125 Copper Dice? Yeah, 125, sir. 125. This is the Sean Kendrick, David Mosier collaboration. Uh, Horizon, is it? Hybrid uh, moment. Hybrid, hybrid moment. moment. I always say Horizon <laughs> for some reason. And this is produced by, I mean, this one is designed by Art Farm. Which is also known as fly titanium. Fly titanium. Yeah, fly titanium. So y'all might be familiar with that, but they're produced by Riot. And this last one is an in-house design called the K2. And I know the K series are um, Riot's in-house design. So we're gonna go over each one of them, show how great the quality is, and have a discussion with my two friends over here. And let's get to it. All right, we'll start from left to right. You got the two Todd bags. This one was the first one they came out with, the mini bodega. Uh, just a small um, uh, flip, flipper frame block that's riding on IKBS ceramic ball bearings and uh, ceramic detent. It's got a nice action. Still haven't done a full review of this. Uh, what, do you, what do you think about it, Copper Dice? Uh, it's very pretty. Uh, I don't know. How much does this run? Uh, I don't know. It's been so long ago since I bought it. I know it wasn't cheap, like none of the Riots, but the quality definitely. I don't. I mean, yeah, you're looking detail. at you're looking at five of them. What do you think about the quality of Riot? Uh, the details and all of them. They all got their own uh, <coughs> little details that make them special. I'd say. Now we were talking off camera. Would we all kind of agree? Wouldn't y'all say that their quality is on par with Chris Reed and I's? If y'all, I mean, what would y'all think about that? I know that's a big Absolutely. statement. Absolutely, I think it's um, on par with Chris Reed. I mean, the, the quality is just, I mean, like just for instance, I mean, if you've ever seen a uh, custom bodega, I mean, you see a lot of the same. You got your, you got your cracked ice. That's such a beautiful pocket clip right there. You also got the cracked ice in the inside. I don't know if I'll better show you. Yeah, you'll, you can see that somewhat. Don't you have a light flashlight on your cover dice? They got ice in there. Cop, it's called uh, cracked ice. That's the that's the name of the finish, and you got the ceramic ball um, for the pocket clip. Let's see if I can show you all that. Look, see that that finish in the inside. See that cover dice? That's oh, yeah, called yeah. the cracked ice. And uh, I think one of the bags they showed how they do that. They just basically use a Dremel. I don't know how they do it on the production, but they use a Dremel on the ones that they send to Todd Begg and uh, they use a cut -off, cutting wheel and they just kind of beep, 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 beep. The Chinese are doing So, good. I mean, the action on these, this blade's a lot lighter than the rest. The actions are all flawless. Just, you know, just great knives. I, I still, like I said, I gotta do a review of this one, but there you go, that's the mini bodega. The next one was a surprise for my wife. Not something that I would have bought, but it's I can definitely appreciate it. This is the uh, field, field Marshal, and it's got the Damascus steel blade. I think it's the Thor Damascus Damascus steel blade with your bronze titanium. And it's also, all these are riding on ceramic uh, ball bearings with a ceramic detent ball. These two have ceramic IKBS, and I think the rest are just cage bearings, but all the actions are just flawless. When are you going to upload the video when she gave you that? Uh, never. All right, now you, you tell me what you think of it's that a, one. It's very pretty. Now do not pop it on. <laughs> it's very pretty. You did good. Good job. No, she did good. She, I, I, I did. She did good. Brian, what you think about that one, buddy? Let me check it out. It's a big knife. Yeah, right here. <clears throat> now, 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 I, I was like I said before in one of my videos. I don't really like Damascus, but if I have to do Damascus, stainless Damascus is where I'm going to go because. So this is uh, Thor Damasteel. Yeah. So it's what just, is a uh, an advantage to Damasteel over regular Damascus or well, stainless steel Damascus, Damascus? Well, Damasteel is stainless Damascus. Okay. All right. um, regular Damascus isn't stainless. It can be, I guess, carbon. It will. Damasteel is produced by um, uh, who is it? The Swedish company, I think. 
and it's a stainless steel mask. I mean, you have um, you have all kind. I don't know. I'm not I'm not a, an expert when it comes to Damascus. I just know that this is damn steel. <laughs> And a stainless Damascus. Well, thank so, you for that information. There's the two uh, Steelcraft series. This is this is designed by Todd Beg Knives, produced by Riot. The next one, this is Copper Dice's Beauty. I've I, I've uploaded a first impressions video of this guy. This is uh, David Moser, Sean Kendrick hybrid moments, mm -hmm. and just a beautiful piece. How many of these did they make? I think we already said that, but it's 125. 125. I think we said that off camera. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> just a beautiful knife. Just showing, you know. In the fine details. Yeah. Showing, the showing what Kaiser stuff. can do. I mean, I don't know oh, if Kaiser. I. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say Kaiser? Yeah. I'm sorry. Riot. But uh, they got uh, orange peel thumb stud. All your all your um, screws and hardware are titanium except the the back. Which is uh, hard and stainless. I mean, that, it, this is a stone wash, you would say, right? Yeah, you got so, your. So to keep that, you know, shiny and all that after. Yeah, th this is this is cool. a lot of milling process because you you got to they mill this, they got to mill all these chamfers, and they stone wash it. Then they come back and mill yeah, these lines. Cool, yeah. So you know it all. That's what some people don't understand why the why the, the hefty price tag on some of these guys is because there's a lot of machining Imagine hours if, uh, that go into American this. American company made that. Yeah, I mean. The price tag, if this was uh, Benchmade or something like that, -wee! just look at their gold class. And the gold class can't touch this with a 10-foot stick. You know, Ooh. this, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm Something's sorry. Something's going to be in the comments. Right? Yeah, I don't get me wrong. I, I love my Benchmade. Look, I, I just got I got a new Benchmade for my boy, Copper. Ooh, yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll talk about that later. So this is just, a, this This one's considered a mid-tech, correct? Yeah. Mid-tech, 125 pieces. So Riot, you know, dabs in all the markets and we're gonna go this is a new one new to me and new to my channel this is brian's knife this is the arc form produced by jeff bluett is known uh tough knives uh definitely came up through youtube and now he's a, a pretty awesome maker got some very unique designs this one's definitely unique brian this is yours you tell us what you know about this one um <clears throat> so i believe jeff uh calls this design his slim foot yeah if i'm not mistaken I wonder what his big foot looks like huh? who knows <laughs> but um i think this is s35 steel obviously you got the uh let's see if it shows it carbon fiber inlay i'll do the vanna white that's carbon fiber inlay which i bought this knife second hand and the previous owner uh broke the um carbon fiber on it and they sent him a whole new inlay so did, did he didn't have to send the knife in they just sent no, him no they sent him the piece and it uh went on obviously perfectly yeah he showed me the he, he i don't know if he dropped or something but there was a chip in the carbon fiber and uh showing how or how awesome the tolerances are they just he didn't have to send the knife in or anything they sent him another piece of carbon fiber and this thing is seamless like it, uh, that i tell you what that is a production you know, it's pretty impressive feet. if they yeah. can just send a piece and it goes on. I mean, perfect. it's one thing to send a piece and okay, we didn't get to we didn't get to make sure everything's right, but this thing, you cannot feel like if I close my eyes, I cannot feel any transitions anywhere, and that that's saying something. This is you know definitely not could be for everybody, but I like different, and this is you know it reminds me of a straight razor. That's what I hear a lot of people talk saying. I just love that that fuller. That blade shape, just very unique and very comfortable in hand. And just like all of them, they're, they're super comfortable. They do a great job on their mill pocket clips. And look at that intricate backspacer. Just a nice touch. Just uh, another, you know, another example of Riot. Now, all these other Riots that we've shown y'all so far are designs from other makers. And Riot wants to, wanted to show that they can also produce nice knives with their own with their own in-house designs and those are going to be called their k-series and this is brian's knife right here too this thing is beautiful the intricate milling you got a stone washed blue anodized titanium frame you know these are titanium oh uh, the pivots yeah <coughs> sure yes they are, they are. Yeah, usually they do run titanium hardware uh you got a nice lanyard hole if you're into that uh 
I like how they, they anodize this, this back spacer blue and then they, they polished or kind of satin the flats on there, the peaks of it. Um, the flipper tab is done perfect. And just, I mean, the action on this guy is just, it's very, very satisfying. I mean, rockets out. And another thing that I would like to highlight, this, this grind on here, I don't know if this satin's gonna show up. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. And it's hand ground too. Oh, this is which hand ground? Which I think is something we didn't mention. All of um, Riox knives are uh, hand ground. And I do know that whenever they say hand rub, they actually have a little, well, I'm not, okay. They actually have a guy <laughs> doing their hand, their hand satin finishes. They show it on Instagram. You can actually watch them doing some of the finishes. And I mean, look at that. I know we, we Knives does their own hand finishing too, but that is absolutely gorgeous. Nice thin hollow grind, and then you got a nice beefy Tonto tip up there with that nice elongated swedge up top. And as you see, you, you have enough meat up in the front and the tip area for a nice piercing. Uh, the jimping is semi-functional. I mean, it's not, not super sharp, but the ergonomics on this knife are really nice. And everybody knows who's watching my channel knows that pet peeve of mine is getting the sharpening troll done right, and it looks like they nailed it. That's how you need to do it, Benchmade <clears throat> and other companies. Uh, S35 VN steel, awesome quality steel. Like I said, they, they, they always, they, they do perfect job with their pocket clips. I noticed they're, they're all, they all have that perfect spring to them, you know? Everything's perfect on those. I mean, <clears throat> I, I, I don't know if you can find a better made knife for, you know, $325. Sam, what do you think? I know you like this one too. I like the too. color of it because uh, it's, uh, it's almost like a stonewash, but then it brings out the, uh, a lighter color blue under it. Yeah, it's almost like they and did a double stone, I mean a double anode job because. Yeah, like it's lighter underneath and then. Yeah, you the, can't see that in the pictures either. The the stone wash like kind of pops through the color, and then the intricate milling in these little uh, diamonds are just it, it's got a 3D effect. It shimmers in the light. It's just I mean all these all four all five examples of these riots are just look at that blade. Yeah, that's why I, I showed them the grind on that. I mean. I'm trying to get it in the light, but look how it just dances, and I love I love the grind lines like that, especially when they're done fine enough to where they don't leave like a gritty feeling on your on your fingers, and you know definitely not gonna catch on any material you're cutting on. Like I said, look at that, you got that nice robust tip. If you need to do some harder work, and I I'll tell you every riot that I've had, they sure know how to to sharpen a knife, and as you can see, their bevels are consistent. I mean that's perfection right there, man. I like how you can use this transition piece to, you know, cut. You can use that as a thing. So could you sharpen it? Uh, I could, but I wouldn't. Um, I just, uh, it's not my knife. No, but I'm saying with the little um, I would do it in two different stages. I would sharpen this first, and then I sharpen that. But, I mean, just look. I mean, I don't know, you know, I don't know if Riot is your thing, but, I mean, it's hard to, to say any of these knives are ugly or... Even if they're not your thing, you cannot deny the quality. I mean, I'm sorry, but these, this, uh, a few of these Chinese companies overseas are, are leaving some of our American companies in the dust. Uh, I sure hope that they take notice of this and step up their QC game because Kaiser, I mean, Kaiser's doing good, Wee's doing good, and Riot is just, <laughs> dang, man. They're killing it. They're killing it in every which way. I mean... You can see in all these different designs that there's not, there's not, I don't think there's anything they can't pull off. I mean, look at this. You got, this is a super intricate, that's a multi, multi grind there. You got this, this different looking shape with this flawless transition. And I love how they did the, you know, usually you don't see bolsters like that. You don't see the stripe effect. That's just cool. And of course, this looks just like the custom. I mean, they nailed this and you know, leaving, I think they did a great job of, even though I want one of these knives and can't get it, I think, you know, that, that adds the hype and that adds the want for this knife, right, you know? Exactly. I think Copper Dice did a great job picking that one up. That That's a special knife right there. You know, these two, the bags, they always hit it out the park. You know, like I said, this is not a knife that I would have bought myself, but I'm over the moon happy with it. My wife did a great job, especially surprising me. I had no clue she was buying this. Let's upload that video right after this. Yeah, okay. He, he, what he's talking about is I got a little emotional because, you know, 
unlike Stone Cold, No Heart, Copper Dice, you know, whenever my wife gave me something like that and she told me, you know, she told the guy that she thought I, you know, she told him what all I'd been through and Copper Dice laughed and was like, no, no, he was no, like, no. yeah, ain't nothing, whatever, weirdo. Right, let's go, on to, let's go to the next <laughs> Nah. Now, these two guys on side of me, great friends. They've helped me out through a lot of pain. My boy Brian over here, he's the guy I went to Blade Show with, so we had so much fun. And then hopefully this year, this next year coming, Copper Dice is going to join us. I think we'll have a blast. We're all knife freaks just like you guys watching this, this video. So we got to wrap it up. Y'all want to say anything about any of these knives before we wrap it up? Uh, this one is... Needs to be handled in person to get <laughs> the pictures. Don't do it any justice. Yeah, let me just let me get a quick a quick action of these. Just oh. everything. Oh. You got to do that when you open these. Cause that's just part of it. Oh. I like how they you got your thumb stud riding on those ceramic bearings. It just it just feels so good. Oh. Yeah, that, that's what that one. That, the bag knives, they just, they, they give you a different, uh, <laughs> and then you got this little guy that still rockets out. Brian, you want to talk, say anything before we wrap it up? Um, <clears throat> only thing I would say, if anybody's on the fence about getting a Riot, don't hesitate, because uh, once you buy your first one, you'll definitely get another one. Yeah, and top so, notch. So just be 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 ready to be a broke mofo, and uh, if you, if you're married, just just you might want to get the divorce Customer papers. Service was great too. It's just a twelve hour time difference was only. Yeah, so if you ever if you ever buy one and you have to talk to the warranty department, just know that there's a twelve hour difference there. So they probably won't get back to you to the next day, and then there's gonna be a lag time between the both of you because they'll get back to you when you're sleeping usually. So. Just don't get frustrated. Copper Dice dealt with their warranty, and they took care of them on this knife. It, you know, it, it was a little headache in the beginning, but everything they they were very, they were more than willing to make sure everything was done and taken care of properly to his satisfaction. So you were happy with it, right? right. After it was all said and done. Okay. Yeah, it, it took them a little while, but it was just because they hadn't had any warranty issues before. So now they have a warranty guy in the U.S. So. That, that's something that I think is a very important fact, you know, when you're buying something from overseas is the warranty, and he can attest to it. They took care of him. It, it didn't take it didn't take several months. What it was it like? It took a, whole, yeah, but, a couple of weeks, but they had to manufacture yeah, the. Pulse. They had and they not only that they, they had to manufacture the 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 pivot because it was a special pivot, but then they also had to hire somebody to do American warranty work. Right. So that that's the only reason. After they got all that taken care of, what, it was a week and you got yeah, your knife back? Yeah, it did great work. All right, so that's just a showcase of the Riot Knives. Hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.